Slider P is constrained to move vertically and is connected to the center G of the gear through link GP as shown. The gear may move horizontally on the moving gear rack Q. Determine at this instant A. The angular velocity of the link GP and the gear. B. The velocity of the center G of the gear. C. The angular acceleration of the link GP and the acceleration of the gear. This is the diagram. We have a gear with the center G. This gear is rolling on the gear rack Q. The gear rack Q is moving with a velocity of 20 cm per second to the left and it has an acceleration of 75 cm square in the same direction of the velocity. The gear is connected through a link GP to a slider. The slider can move vertically. The velocity of the slider P is directed downward with a magnitude of 30 cm per second. The velocity is constant so it doesn't have acceleration. While the slider P is moving down, the gear will be moving to the left. That creates a general plane motion of the link GP. We have seen several ways to calculate the velocity of point G. You may refer to other videos. Now we are going to use one of the methods, which is the instantaneous center method. The velocity of point P is known. It is 30 cm per second directed downward. The direction of the velocity of point G can be predicted. It is horizontally to the left. Now let's focus on the link GP. Let's draw a line perpendicular to the velocity at P and another line perpendicular to the velocity at G. These two perpendicular lines intersect at a point that we name I. This point is the instantaneous center of rotation of the link GP. Knowing this point and knowing the velocity of point P, we can obtain the angular velocity of the link GP. Since the velocity of point P is directed downward, the direction of the angular velocity will be clockwise or negative k. We have the angle theta here. The angle theta is also there. And having the length L 12 cm, we know that the distance from I to P is L cos theta. And the vertical distance from I to G is L sin theta. L cos theta is 9.6 cm. L sin theta is 7.2 cm. Knowing the distance from I to P, which is 9.6 cm, and the velocity at point P, which is 30 cm per second, we can obtain the angular velocity omega GP. We have the relation VP equals omega GP vector product RPI. VP is given negative 30 J cm per second. And omega GP here we assume to be negative omega GP k radian per second. The position vector of point P relative to I, RPI, is 9.6 I centimeter. Substituting the value into the equation, We can obtain omega GP equal to 3.125, which means the vector of the angular velocity omega GP equals to negative 3.125 k radian per second. Now let's calculate the velocity VG. From point I, the velocity Vg is considered as tangential velocity due to the rotation. Vg equals to omega Gp vector product Rgi. Omega Gp previously, it is negative 3.125 k radian per second. The vector 
RGI is the vector from I to G. It is equal to negative 7.2 J centimeter. Putting the values into the equation, we obtain VG equal to negative 22.5 I centimeter per second. Up to now, we have answered part of question A. We have obtained the angular velocity of the link GP. And we have answered question B, the velocity of the center G of the gear. Let's go back to question A to answer the angular velocity of the gear. To calculate the angular velocity of the gear, we focus on the gear itself. From the previous question, we have obtained Vg equal to 22.5 cm per second. In this case, I remove the gear rack and I put at point A the velocity of point A, which is equal to the velocity of Q, which is 20 cm per second. The velocity vector G equals the velocity vector A plus the velocity of G relative to A. Vg equals Va plus Vga. Vg is negative 22.5 I centimeter per second. Va is equal to Vq, negative 20 I centimeter per second. Vga is omega of the gear, vector product Rga. Let's assume the vector omega to be omega k radian per second. So it is directed anticlockwise. The vector Rga is the distance from A to G, which means it is directed upward. So Rga equals 3j centimeters. With the expression of omega and the value of RGA, we can obtain the velocity of G relative to point A, VGA, equals to negative 3 omega I centimeter per second. Now, we have the expression and the values of the three components forming the relative velocity equation. We have VG, we have VA, and then we have VGA in terms of omega. Substituting the values in the equation, we obtain omega equals 0 0.83. Omega equals to 0 0.83 K radian per second. With that, we answered question B and question A. Now let's see question C. The angular acceleration of the link GP and the acceleration of the gear. To calculate the acceleration of link GP and the acceleration of point G, we need the information about the angular velocity of the link GP. We have obtained previously omega GP equals to 3.125 radian per second directed clockwise. Let's assume that the acceleration of point G is to the right. Let's assume that the direction of the angular acceleration of the link GP to be positive in the K direction. So it is anticlockwise. Due to this anticlockwise angular acceleration, alpha GP, it will create a tangential acceleration of point P directed to the left upward. And a normal component of the acceleration of point P relative to G, which is directed from P to G. Now let's write the equation of relative acceleration. AP equals AG plus APG. We know that AP equals to zero. That is given in the problem. Let's say that we have vector AG equals to AGI centimeter per second square. 
The relative acceleration APG consists of two components. One is tangential component APGT and the other one is the normal component APGN. The tangential component APGT is the vector product of alpha GP with RPG. Alpha GP is the angular acceleration. The angular acceleration alpha GP we assume to be in the positive k direction. So it is AGPK radian per second square. The vector RPG, that is the vector from G to P, we know the length, which is 12 cm, and we know the angle theta, where theta is tangent negative 1 of 3 over 4. So from there, we can express the vector RPG in the I and J direction. RPG is 12 times cosine theta I plus sine theta J centimeter. That gives us 9.6 I plus 7.2 J centimeters. Now we have alpha GP and RPG. We can obtain the expression for APG. The normal component of the acceleration of P relative to G can be calculated using the formula negative omega GP square times the vector RPG. Omega GP is 3.125 radian per second. So the square of this value is 9.77 radian square per second square. The vector RPG is 9.6i plus 7.2j centimeter. So APG n equals to negative 93.79i minus 70.34j centimeter per second square. We have the component of APG t and APG n. Having AP AG and APG, we can substitute this expression into the equation of relative acceleration. Here we have a vector equation consisting of I and J. We can decompose into two equations. One is in the I direction, the other one in, in the J direction. In the I direction, we have AG minus 7.2 alpha GP minus 93.79 equals to 0. The second equation is 9.6 alpha GP minus 70.34 equals to 0. The second equation gives alpha GP equals 7.33. Putting this alpha GP into the first equation, we obtain AG equals 146.55. This gives the angular acceleration of the link GP equals 7.33 K radian per second square and the acceleration of point G equals 146.55 I centimeter per second square.